Have a good day! Oh hey! How's it going? LA Beast here. I didn't see you there. Uh, today I'd just like to make aware to you, the audience, that I have indeed started a second YouTube channel called LA Beast Live. And so far I have actually not done anything live on the channel. But I have actually started to do a daily vlog type deal where it's kind of like you get to see the behind the scenes footage of what exactly it is I do every day when I'm not inhaling cactus spikes and stuff like that. So uh, the video that I'd like to share with you is actually a video I posted last night called A Day in the Life of the LA Beast. And I guess, uh, yeah, I film everything from my iPhone, so I apologize for the low quality on that, but um, hopefully I'll get a new vlogging camera, and I really hope to start doing daily vlogs. It's, I guess I'm a pretty interesting guy who likes to do insane, interesting stuff that the average human being doesn't do, so yeah, and plus being a YouTube sensation, uh, there's many cool and crazy opportunities that have presented themselves in my life and I really would just like to film it and document it and and share it with all of you so yeah it's nothing but fun on this second channel it's less serious like I'm not gonna sit there and do these long edits so it's gonna be you know pretty consistent content and I just hope you all can come along for the ride so if you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you'd go to LA Beast Live, or I'll put some links in the description. And uh, it's going to be a fun time. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and enjoy a day in the life of me. Have a good day. Good day, LA Beast. Day two of my attempting to vlog, and I'm sorry that there's wavy lines in the background of the video. I've not figured out how to stabilize and or autofocus my iPhone 6, but you know what? I don't give a shit, because this is my second vlog channel, and it's not supposed to be perfect. I just want to bring you along, uh, show you what a normal day in the life of the LA Beast is, so uh, strap up, lace up your boots, let's go for a ride, or a walk, because I'm going to walk to the store. All right. But first, I'm here on the toilet reviewing my emails because that's what I do. I wake up, walk over to the bathroom, and then this is where I conduct my early morning business uh, answering emails uh, business-wise, not related to YouTube. So right now, if you don't mind, uh, not right now, Chief. I'm in the fucking zone. All right, pretty solid. I just conducted some business on the toilet, and you know what? It felt great. Uh... One lesson that I'm going to pass along to you, straight from the LA Beast. Uh, I figured out that making your bed every morning, uh, it actually helps instill discipline in your everyday life. And at the end of a busy day, it's always good to come home to a bed that's made. So let's, uh, let's make the bed. All right, great, bed made. Let's go, let's go to the store so I can get the ingredients to make an omelet because that's necessary protein needed uh, minimum necessary protein needed to lift at Gold's Gym in Venice. Uh, there are women who lift at Gold's Gym in Venice who are bigger than I am. So I need to eat so I can at least hold my own with the women who work out there. I'm going to stop talking like a jackass and let's just, uh, let's just go about my day. And I'm going to keep turning the camera on and okay, I'm going to stop talking now. I just came to realize that making an omelet Falls way too many ingredients and it takes too long and I'm lazy. So I just went and got the chicken parm instead, which I'm now going to enjoy. So, uh, yeah. And then we got some business. We're about to go on the road after this to see how the LA Beast handles his business. I'm at the bank right now. I had to take a pit stop because I need to get uh, quarters so I can do my laundry. And, uh... Yeah, it's a pain in the ass right now. This is uh, taking away from me doing positive things. So, that's it. Not yet. I 
Yeah. Now I can do my laundry. That's all I have to say about that. All right, uh, now that I got my quarter to do, to do my laundry, because I can't speak, I'm going to get my fan mail. And the interesting thing about my fan mail is that, I just went through a red light, uh, is that I used to be able to pick it up from the front desk and they relocated my mailbox into the far back right corner and my shoulders are so wide I can't even fit to get down there to get my mail. So you're gonna see firsthand the struggles that it takes me to pick up my fan mail, so stay tuned. This is ridiculous. Good. Get to walk down. It's, it's like sweltering hot right now. All the way down here. Right in the corner. Great. Well, it's good to see. It's good to know that the LA Beast fans care about me because they're giving me less work by not sending me any fan mail. But if you would like to send me some fan mail, I'm sweating my ass off. I'm gonna have a heat stroke. Uh, my address is 1507 7th Street, number 10B, Santa Monica, California, 90401. It's my P.O. Box. I gotta get the hell out of here before I pass out. Holy shit. Finally, I can now get back to the serious business. Uh, I'm at the FedEx office here in Santa Monica, and I'm gonna go inside, print out this contract, and show you how the LA Beast signs a contract. So stay tuned for that one. <laughs> it can be, yeah, this could be unpredictable here. So stay tuned. And that, my friends, is how you sign a contract. Even though not really, because I really just scribbled on a random page and I actually had to print it out again because I have to <laughs> send this document back over to the people I'm doing business with. So, uh, one word of advice I would like to give you though if you ever sign a contract is never accept the first offer. And if it says in perpetuity, worldwide, never sign it without having a lawyer look over it because that means you're signing your rights away. So, yes, I may do dumb things on YouTube, but I'm actually quite a smart guy who is utilizing my business minor from college. So, thanks, Dad, for uh, helping me out with that education. I love you. All right. I'd like to bring you to two last places that I like to go to to clear my mind uh, at the end of the day. So, but before I do that, I need my energy and this is my favorite kind of rock star. So here we go. It's like sucking a golf ball through a garden hose. I think I may have a heart attack. Stay tuned. This is where I come uh, in Santa Monica to think. Whenever I'm having a crazy day, I just take all my problems, put them into an imaginary bag, and I'm going to show you exactly where I dump those problems. About two seconds. I'm pretty sure I'm yipped up on Sugar Free Rockstar as well. So, whatever you do, kids, do not chug energy drinks. Pretty ridiculous spot, so 
Just wanted to share this with you, and now it's time to go close down Gold's Gym at Venice Beach and call it a day. Pretty, pretty ridiculous yet busy day for the LA Beast. Stay tuned. That right there, that is the entrance where Forrest Gump ran through in the movie Forrest Gump when he couldn't run any further and then he decided to go home. So I yeah, just wanted to show you that on the way to the gym. Pretty cool. Good day. Gold's Gym, here in Venice Beach, California, where Arnold Schwarzenegger is gracing the wall behind me. Uh, Lou Ferrigno comes here, and the Chubbs from Happy Gilmore, uh, Paulo Creed from Rocky, that same guy, Carl Weathers. So yeah, it's a pretty cool place to come and lift, and on that note, I'm going to have at it. So thank you everybody for joining me for vlog number two, and catch you on the flip side. Sorry for all the wavy background shit. I'll try and improve that by getting a real camera. Good day. Good day. All that I want is a crystal Pepsi to share with you. I haven't been the same since 92. All that I want is a crystal Pepsi. Yeah, you know it's true. I've never seen something that tastes like you